kind of looks like a techno blob fish. <laughs> Today they're working with the finch robots um, and having a great time coding. They're experimental learning, so they're really enjoying it and learning a lot, I think. I love cameras. Making like sounds for the finch to say, like, I am awesome and I am awesome. Stuff like that, and we were making it move, and we can make its nose glow. What do you want it to do? Honestly, they're going to learn structured programming. They're going to learn that if you give a command, and the next command, and the next command, it'll follow in order. It'll do exactly what you say, and nothing you don't tell it to do. Oh, there he goes. You know, this is this is basic logic. It's it's a great thing to see them learn. So they're they're going to understand when they're done that uh, if they entered it this way, it does exactly what they put in, and uh, that's a big lesson. Well, I learned that sometimes if you don't put in like the right code, then the robot won't do what you want it to. It will do something else. So sometimes if the code doesn't work, you shouldn't get frustrated. You should just keep trying to um, redo it or put a different key in. Well, like not really until now. I didn't know much about computers or robots or anything. But I think it's kind of fun that we get to program our own. I think that it is a great opportunity for them to uh, use computers in a whole new way. I think it's a great opportunity for them to um, learn something that they can apply in other ways. And I think coding is something that is just growing. I think that they'll have a great opportunity to uh, see this more and more throughout. And uh, the things that the district is working towards um, are really interesting. I think that our students are really on the cutting edge and the opportunities that we're looking at for them are amazing.